Look at him. Pepper. Peppermint's going out tonight. Oh my goodness, that's that's my red wig from that I was gonna wear in the big hair challenge. Oh really? And Go you, on my social media, <laughs> that's the exact same. Peppermint stole my wig. <laughs> Exclusive. She stole, <laughs> she should have gone home for that rest, ratchet laundry. I love Peppermint. Yeah. Um, that's the best wig I've ever seen her in. Uh, she's, uh, you know, again, still, she got the, those bookings and her drag is, Stepped improved, up, uh, improved, you know, yeah. Because on the show, I'm not saying her wigs look like shit, but if I found one in my kitchen floor, I'd punish the dog. Oh God, I'm just saying. Oh my God. I love her. <laughs> but on the, I should talk. Look, this is a mess right now, Johnny McGarrett. <laughs> <laughs> a mess. Uh, Peppermint is always very sweet. Was she ever salty secretly Absol during the show? No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Um, which makes me suspicious mm -hmm. because you know no one's that nice all the time. <laughs> Bitch is hiding something. Uh, no, she's 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 exactly what you see. Yeah. She's lovely, she's kind, she's sweet. I know it's kind of boring. I wish I had a story about how she tried to push me down a flight of uncarpeted stairs. That's all, <laughs> let's just make one up. Yeah. That's one, it's like, she was putting itching powder. That, she she caused me to have diarrhea. <laughs> exactly, we finally she got was to the smearing, bottom of it. She was smearing her feces on doorknobs, <laughs> oh, Johnny, just so I could how get dare a she. streptococcal virus. Oh my God, peppermint. No. Peppermint, I adore her. Look at home. Oh, oh, your husband. That is that is our twentieth anniversary. Now, how uh, dare y'all look so young for being married he, twenty years? Yeah, he's th he's thirty nine. Uh, we had the whole family over um, for it was a joint Thanksgiving twentieth wedding anniversary party. How nice! So yeah, so that was my that's my husband. And where did you guys meet? We met in Boston at a little coffee shop. Do you remember Louise Woodward, the nanny that the English nanny that shook the baby? <laughs> yes. Yeah. So he was an he was an au pair. Uh, at the same time that she was an au pair. And uh, he was just looking after a couple of kids and about a month after we started dating, he messaged me, he said, well, he called me, he said, oh my God, Louise has been arrested for murdering somebody. Wow. Uh, yes, yeah, so he was just a nanny in Boston. We met in a coffee shop, old school. Old school, no apps involved. No apps involved, amazing, Eyes never locked heard of us. it. <laughs> just, it was, it was flirtatious over coffee. And I asked him to dinner, and then I heard that amazing British accent. Mm. And uh, he's he's incredibly funny, the funniest person I've ever met. Um, he writes a lot of my comedy. He writes a lot of my YouTube videos. Um, some of the funniest lines, some of the best insults I've ever I've ever done. Um, he writes them. That sweet little innocent guy <laughs> has got a dirty, filthy, nasty mind. Love it. Which I love. <laughs> Look at her. Oh, Miss Sasha. Miss Winner, Sasha Valore, honey. Sasha Valore, right. So the day that I, I kind of, I kind of thought um, that Peppermint's outfit was so bad that I was safe. Uh -huh. um, and then after seeing, cause when you saw Alexis did so well in the um, the Kardashian challenge, yeah. but then they marked her down for her fake fur outfit. Right. If the, the same rule had applied, Peppermint definitely should have mm. <laughs> been sent home. But I kind of knew that the writing was on the wall, and before we, I had to go out and do the lip sync, I said to Sasha, right, this is probably, this is probably uh, gonna be the last time I see you, so uh, let's get together after taping and we'll, um, we'll have a glass of wine and we'll have a, a good old gossip. Uh, sadly, he doesn't return my phone calls anymore. Uh-oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> He's busy being Sasha Valore. Honey, yes, you got all I, the I wanted, to do. I, I wanted, uh, it, was, it was between him and, and Trinity. I really thought it should have been him and Trinity. That would have been quite a battle. Or, or her and Trinity. Some people, you know, they read me when I say him or, or her. Right. But I know them from, if you're in the workroom and I know you as yeah. Aja is Aja. Uh -huh. So I think of Aja and Sasha. But like Farah, I would always refer to Farah as a female. Right. Well, that energy is very feminine. But regardless. also, I don't even, I can't even remember right. the boy name. Yeah, and when she's a boy, <laughs> he still looks like a girl. So, yeah. God bless her. Yeah. A little beautiful angel. All right, speaking of Aja, look at all. Okay. That there is, she is. That's a gorgeous picture. It is. That is a stunningly gorgeous picture. Um, Aja, what can I say about Aja? Uh, Aja is incredibly creative. Yeah. Uh, very talented. On the reunion, I said. <laughs> I said that Aja was like the uh, Joan of Arc of drag, great ideas but badly executed. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> then I saw Aja's dick pics, have you seen them? I have not. <laughs> After seeing the dick pics, I started calling uh, Aja the Robin Williams of drag. 
Not because she's funny, but she's well hung. <laughs> <laughs> Too soon? <laughs> Too soon? <laughs> Look at her! <laughs> Jody Harsh! Jody Harsh. Uh, Jody, well, Jody from London. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Jody and I have known each other from the days of the Shadow Lounge, which was owned by Lisa Vanderpump in Soho. Um, and we were both working there and at Too Too Much and Tranny Shack. Can I say Tranny Shack? Well, when Historically, it's the name of that was the yes, name of the venue. Um, so if you want to send emails to me and change.org petitions, feel free. Um, <laughs> but we worked together at Tranny Shack. And so we've just, we've known each other. And we were also in AbFab together. Oh, right, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I've known Jody 15 years. Wow. 15, 16 years. And so now you guys are two of the most high profile queens. From Brits, the yeah. yeah. We've only been to rehab three times together. He went <laughs> twice on his own and I went <laughs> another 16 times. I'll get the hang of it eventually, John. Sure, I'm sure you will. Do you ever steal her Jody Harsh wig and be like, ha ha? <laughs> no, but I will tell you. So obviously on my YouTube videos, I played dozens of celebrities. And some people I have the, a very similar shaped face to, so it's really easy to look like them. Like Kris Jenner, if I put on the Kris Jenner makeup and wig, I look like Kris Jenner. Jody's face is so similar to mine that if I really painted to look like Jody and stuck on that wig, I, I think I could do his gigs for him. <laughs> I think, I think, Jody, if you ever get ill, you want somebody to cover for you, <laughs> call me. <laughs> Sounds good. Jody, you got it. You got it together. Y'all you should do a show together. Jody we and Jody. That'd be great. Sisters. <laughs> All right, we have time for one more. Look at her. Valentina. Valentina, Valentina. Valentina. Right, there's been um there was controversy at the reunion yeah. about Valentina. And um she was nothing but congenial to me. Uh -huh. uh, she was raised in a culture to respect their elders. Mm. And, uh, <laughs> and I was certainly the elder on the set. Um, nothing but kind and sweet and friendly and, and adorable. And during, for my Princess Climaxica, by the way, I was robbed. Agreed. Princess, Agreed. Princess, I was robbed. Um, but uh, I think she came up to me and she said, you know, the, the white wig that you had worn for the white party, are you going to wear it again? I said, I said, no. She said, can I borrow it? I said, yeah. So that's the Linda Evangelista. Right, yeah. Um, and uh, she said, if you need any jewelry, I've got plenty of jewelry. So I had picked that copper fabric that I made that big ball gown out of. And I said, do you have anything that matches that? And she said, yes. And she went to her bag and she pulled out this lot, like two or three yards of this beaded trim that she got from Santi Alley. And, um, and it matched I, perfectly. So I stitched it all on and um, I think made earrings out of it. But yeah, she was, you know, anytime uh, we've been together for any, any event, nothing but kindness and graciousness. I never saw her ask for red M&Ms. <laughs> I never saw her ask for champagne. So um, I, I didn't quite see why the, there was this attack on her mm. because, uh, my relationship with, with her was one on one. I did see that um, some of her fans attacked some of the other girls sure. and she didn't step in and say anything. But I pulled her aside after the taping and I said, you know, you just learned that lesson very publicly. Yeah. Um, she's young, you know, I, this shit I still haven't learned and I'm 107. <laughs> so she, she, just, she just got a lesson and I think, you know, she took it on board and I think she changed right away, which, Full props to her, exactly. but she's she should be in All Stars three, and um, she's one of those people that I just think she may not have the hundred thousand in the bank or the crown, but she's a winner. That's for sure. She's, she's a winner at life. I just want—I mean, she's too pretty. It, it, it makes my eyes hurt. Uh -huh. I just want to <laughs> push her off a ledge or something. <laughs> right, like every good grand dame will <laughs> do to the young diva coming up. Yeah, but you know, to me and uh, her her name—well, his name is James, like my husband's name. So you know. All the Jameses in my life are, are just, just peachy. Good. Well, we'll end on that there lovely note. Thank you so much for being here, Charlie. You're Love very welcome. having you, sweetie. You are. Snap that fan. Flawless. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next time on Hey Queen and Look Up. Bye, baby. <laughs> uh -huh. Dance it out, Charlie. Make up for that time when you did not dance, Charlie. Yes, yes. Look up. See, this is what could have been.
Uh, right, we're done. Hey, hey queens. queens! Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our Hey Queen podcasts up here. Check out more of our incredible interviews down here. And of course, don't forget to what? Subscribe! Subscribe. <laughs>